All right, today on Random Antics and Reviews and Retrospectives, today we're going to be doing something a little different. As you can see here, I brought my old artist portfolio from my days at community college. And what we're going to do with it is we're going to take a look at all of these drawings and compare them to some new ones just to show how much I've improved over the years. So without further ado, let's get critiquing. Right here are just a couple favorites I've kept over the years, mostly from Drawing 2 and my Life Drawing course. So this one right here is what's known as an ambiguous figure ground drawing. We can't make it resemble anything, but I was kind of hungry that night <laughs> during my drawing course and was really craving some cookies and cream ice cream, so I made it like that. As you can see, it looks like a magic shell being cracked up. This one is a drawing based off of some Russian movie I saw in my Drawing 2 course. And I honestly do not remember much about this, nor do I remember most of the movie. It was just a weird movie. This was actually one of the first still lifes I did in my Drawing 2 course, which I gotta say, my instructor at the time loved complicated still lives. I mean, my gosh. So I decided to get a little creative and add like cobwebs to it. This one, again, I don't remember much about it, but as you can see, I was trying to improve my skills with drawing from a light source, drawing perspective, etc., etc. Back then, I was more adept at drawing from memory rather than observation, unlike I do now. And of course, this is of my 3DS, or rather a very disproportionate version of my 3DS. Enough said. This one was another still life, which as you can see, I did not have that good of an understanding of how folds work in clothing. This one. this one is what's known as a reverse negative. Again, problems with placement and proportion, plus drawing value. A self-portrait. I'm trying to remember what this one is. By the looks of it, it's a huge one. So I'm gonna have to stand back. Quite a bit. Whoa! Whoa, ho, ho, what do we have here? My old skeleton drawing. I was always wondering where this is, despite being unfinished. You know, maybe I could go back and redo this one. It's certainly pretty solid, and it's one of the better ones in my old portfolio. Again, another complicated still life. My gosh, I hated those. A hand drawing study. Very disproportionate self-portrait. Unfinished drawing. And that was, for the most part, a lot of my old portfolio. Oh, crud. And now, after I clean this up, Let's take a look at some of my newer drawings, preferably the Sharpies. Now, intermediate drawing is where things start to get really interesting, as one of the assignments is we had to draw on cardstock, but we couldn't use anything but Sharpie just to build confidence in it. So the first one you see here is a drawing of my foot. As you can see, the proportions are a little bit off, but I did this during the beginning of the class. and. When you see later, you'll see my work in proportions and foreshortening has really improved since then. Now this one is one of my favorites, and also it got entered into an art show just recently. It's called It Came From Below. I was inspired by the Stephen King movie It when I was drawing this.
This one was inspired by the hallway of my dorm and inspired by the popular game The Floor is Lava. This next one suffered a little bit of damage. I accidentally spilled water on it and a few other drawings. But this was the first attempt at my foot, and as you can see, the proportions were even worse. This was an unfinished drawing of my room. Same thing, water damage. This was an improved drawing of my hand. As you can see, the proportions are starting to get much better, but I have to erase all the squiggles that I made. And this was one of my very first Sharpie drawings. This one was of one of the models that came to visit. No worries, they weren't naked. This was right outside of Griffin Hall. As you can see, I've got a better grasp on perspective and proportion since the earlier drawings. This one is just one I'm working on right now of a cat in a bunny suit. I mean, a cat in a donkey suit, sorry. My cup, which I carry around with me on a daily basis. The very first hand drawing I did, once again, water damage. This one is one I did fairly recently, where we had to combine three objects and make a surreal scene out of it. So I did a kitten in a donkey suit, like the previous one, but stuck him in a field of sunflowers looking like a deer in the headlights. Another view of Griffin Hall. Well, the exterior of Griffin Hall. A view of the model. This is one I did last night, trying to create an ominous Halloween-themed scene with an owl that was used from a prop. That was used as a prop in my drawing course. Mushroom Umbrella, and finally, everyone's new favorite video game character and a work in progress drawing, Cuphead. Now, as you can see, drawing for me has been a learning <laughs> has been a work in progress over the years. And some advice I'd like to give to you, keep on practicing, keep on drawing, and as my former instructor for drawing once said, draw like there is no tomorrow. Now, if you liked the video, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.